Okay, welcome back. So just before we uh, have a look at my logical range page, just to uh, give you a little bit of an update in this third vlog. So uh, I've set the BPM. Uh, uh, 132 seems to work really, really well. It only took a five minute job, but I've created a drummer track and I've created the markers. So uh, um, so now I'm really ready now for, the, for live recording. I've made a decision that I think we're gonna need live drums, not programmed drums on this track. Some of, some of the other tracks that uh, I'll be looking to record do lend itself very much to programming drums, but I don't think this song uh, really does. Okay, so let's go to the arrange page. Following on from the previous video, um, where you saw me play um, this song, maybe I don't know, into an iPhone, I'm just literally going to uh, drag this uh, reference track straight into Logic. So, um, on my iPhone, I've got um, screen. I've got uh, AirDrop. So I'm. Got, I found AirDrop on the particular iPhone, and I'm just going to literally drag that straight, straight in. So you should you should see it pop up in a minute. Okay. So let's drag that in. I've made a reference track version there. Okay. Let me just. There we go. Okay. So there's there's a the track dragged into Logic. Uh, just uh, a couple of uh, other things following on from the previous two videos. I've, um, I've now really developed the verses and the choruses and the bridge sections of the song. I put my chords in. The rough tempo of the song is around about 127 and it's um, in the key of G. Okay, so uh, I've moved things on a little bit. Uh, I've taken the opportunity just to um, create a drummer track using Logic's drummer. I'm using Bluebird and Darcy. And this, you know, literally it's a five minute job. It's so quick and easy. So clockwise seemed to fit the bill. I think the kick and snare was around about uh, option or preset number three or four. So I've clipped it down to one. That seemed to work a bit better. I didn't need the fills. I've taken that out. Uh, the drum track was a bit complex. So I've taken that down, made that a little bit uh, less. You know, it's as simple as just moving the, the, the yellow dot really. Um, I also wanted to get a sense for the tempo for the song, um, so on this, on this is the audio uh, tape that I, I dragged in from my iPhone. It does take a bit of a long time, so I'm not going to physically do it, but it came out about 136. I think I was playing the song ar at around about 127, so I found a happy medium. 132 seems to fit the bill. What I tend to do. In creating markers I'll create my drum track and then I'll just work my way through the song and create markers as I go along so for example uh, let's take this intro let's tag that back a little bit your marker just work your way through the song so that's an intro and uh, work through with my verses choruses links etc so um, creating markers is very straightforward literally uh, just click the cross and there's your marker created color code it view colors I know there's pro uh, there's a hotkey for that but um, yeah, let's create that green there you go and then, and then your markers color coded okay so there you have it that's vlog number three done um this track really lends itself to live drums so i won't be programming drums for this track um i can't record drums in this bedroom studio and uh i can't re record drums really in the house the neighbors wouldn't wouldn't take it or wouldn't suffer it to be honest so there are plenty of great studios in and around my area so I'll be looking to grab some telephone numbers and making some phone calls so which could be a great topic for another video uh, the tracking live drums I do need to do a little bit of work with however just to get this track in a place that a, a live drummer can you know play against so um, that'll be the next videos uh, where I'll be tracking and, and recording acoustic guitar drums and bass so please don't forget to subscribe we're at uh, nearly 1500 subscribers now so please subscribe it'd be great to kind of uh, beat that and and go over 1500 plus in uh, in february 
give us a like. And also, I'd love your comments. If you know of any studios in the Brighton and the Hove area that you would recommend, just give us a comment. That would be fantastic. Um, and we'll speak with you very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.